So now you have decided to move forward with your customer request. As a product manager, now you have a good idea of what this request is going to be, what the solution that you want to build is. You decide to go on and define what the feature is going to be, what are the epics that are within this feature, and what are the user stories within those epics that are going to address the needs from this customer. You also work together with your engineering team to make sure that they are able to understand the work and they are able to also estimate what is going to be the workload to be able to deliver this new feature to those customers. So now the next question comes, what would you do next? First, would you go and reach out to the customer, let them know that the feature, the request, the requirements that they have, you are going to actually go implement in the product and you tell them a little bit what is going to be the scope and potentially it depends on how you work. You might even give them an estimate of when this could be ready for them to start testing, for example. Or do you go to the second option? Do you actually talk to the customer, set up a meeting with them and explain them what are you going to try to do and also try to understand if this is something that will fit their needs or they would understand how it works. Would you go and do some kind of design thinking process with them? So now pick which one of the next videos you would choose and move forward with. So do you pick the first and you go and move forward to, to product execution or do you pick the second and you try to get feedback on your approach from the customer point of view. Now you can go and pick.